Hey everybody, it's Shakira and welcome back to my channel. And before we get into today's topic, I have a channel announcement. I'm currently running a giveaway or contest on the channel in my last video. Um, we're giving, giving thanks to you all for being subscribers. Um, are all the details. All you gotta do is go to that video and enter into the comments below a health related, health and wellness related goal or intention that you have for 2017. And let me know how I can help you get there. What kind of videos would you like to see? And that is how you enter into the contest, but you also have to be a subscriber. And that's all. So let's get started. So the topic today was requested by someone. They wanted to know how do you have a positive outlook on life even when SHIT seems to just be flying everywhere and you are losing hope. So first and foremost, I want you all to understand and remember that everybody goes through stuff in life. Nobody's life is perfect. So always remember that you are not alone. I also have my cell phone along uh, for the video today so that I stay on task because I could just keep talking and talking and talking about this topic. But the first thing that you want to do in order to have a positive outlook on life is gratitude. I make it a thing, a daily practice for, for me to write down all the things that I'm grateful for. Um, and if I don't have the time of the day to write it down, I will list it in my head at the end of the evening while I'm in bed, praying and talking to God and I'm just giving thanks for everything that I have. And so I first started doing this uh, practice after reading Oprah's book. I have it right here, hold up. Uh, what I know for sure. And this is actually gonna be a recommendation for this video too. I recommend this book by Oprah, What I Know For Sure. It is a simple read, but it's very powerful. But she talked in here about, <coughs> excuse me, um, writing, all, writing five things that she was grateful for for the day. Um, so, and it can look like, you know, just I'm grateful for the food that I have, I'm grateful for my car, I'm grateful for my house, I'm grateful for the clothes on my back, and I'm grateful for the technology that I have in my life. So simple things like that, but you can take it to the max. Like you can list everything. You want to list your health, your your wealth, your growing wealth, your financial abundance, your um, the, the health of your kids, your business. Like you want to list everything that you are grateful for, especially when you're in a funk. This is when this exercise is really important. I also read uh, about this exercise in Think and Grow Rich. Um, you know, even when things seem horrible, we always have something to be grateful for. And there's always someone else that has it worse off than you. And so when you're feeling like shit, it is really important for you to do this exercise so that you can remember, well, damn, my life is not as bad as I thought it was because you know what? I'm still alive. I mean, that being able to be on this earth and having this human experience is something that everybody should be grateful for. And when I wake up in the morning, I thank God for opening my eyes and for opening the eyes of my entire family because there is somebody somewhere wishing that they were not taking their last breath. There is somebody somewhere wishing that they had something that you have. So you have to really be grateful for what you have if you want to pull yourself out of the funk. The next tip that I have for you is to be present, practice being present. What does that mean, Shakira? Being present means not worrying about the past and not worrying about the future. And that's where a lot of our difficulty and, you know, just wiggliness and just not wanting to be where we're at because we're too focused on what happened to us 10 years ago, uh, what our mom did to us, what our dad did, did to us, what our husband's uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, somebody in the past did something to us to hurt us and we're constantly living in that space of the past which creates an emotion in our body which creates anger or sadness or, or whatever. And now that in turn makes you unhappy. And then you're thinking about the future. Well, if such and such doesn't propose, what if I don't get that job? What if my business fails? What if my health fails? What if, what if, what if? You gotta live in your present because the only thing that you are sure of is right now because you're living it right now. Like right now, my eyes are closed and I'm talking to the camera, but I'm talking to you. And I'm enjoying myself. I feel good. You know, I'm holding a book. I have some green tea right here. I'm living in the present. Now, if you don't quite know how to get there yet, you don't quite understand, because I know that sometimes when I explain things, it doesn't make sense, but I hope that it does. Pick up this book by Eckhart Tolle. This is a new earth. Oprah recommended it, so you know it's official. You want to get this book. It's a simple, it's a really easy read. And 
I have it all, it is all highlighted up, you know, it's all highlighted up because this is an amazing book, a great place to start in an easy read. You must also make a choice every day to be happy no matter what. There are people going through stuff on a daily basis. The difference between you and somebody else or me and somebody else is the fact that whatever difficulties come up in my life, I look at them as lessons or um, there's another quote by Tony Robbins that said life happens for us, not to us, meaning life happens to us or for us so that we can grow and be great. Because if you don't go through trials and tribulations, guess what, you're not going to change. You're going to be the same person that you were five years ago or yesterday. And the goal should be to be better than you were yesterday, to be a different person than you were five years ago. And so uh, when, when things happen for us in our life, um, we have to look at it as an opportunity for growth. You gotta look at the problem from a different angle. You gotta say, you know what? I know what this looks like, but I'm gonna turn it into something else. I know what I know it looks like. I just lost my job, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna turn this into me getting a better job. I'm gonna turn this into me going back to school. I'm gonna turn this into me starting my business. I'm gonna turn this into me being here for my kids. Like whatever, you gotta flip the situation from bad to good into I got this. You know, and even if you don't know how you're gonna do it. It's really not for us to figure out what is for what we are supposed to do is say, this is what I want to happen. And well, especially, you know, if I want something to happen, I put it out there, I ask God, I pray, and I just uh, I write it down in my journals and I just continue to uh, believe and have faith. You must walk in faith. That is uh, from the Bible. It's a scripture in the Bible, right? You have to walk by faith and not by sight because if you walk by what things look like, you are going to say, forget it, I'm done with life. So, <laughs> I say all that to say that you have to make a choice. Happiness is a choice. You can choose to see situations as bad, horrible, whatever, or you can choose to see them as a learning experience. What am I going to do different? How can I make this different here? How do you fit into this? Because you are the common denominator. I am the common denominator. When stuff is messed up in our lives, when things ain't going right, you have to look at the common denominator. And it's you, it all circles back to you. So you really gotta focus on how you can improve yourself and you must focus on choosing to be happy. Wake up every day happy and grateful for being here. You must also understand that heartache and happiness go hand in hand. Like, um, Taoism, I think I'm saying it right, Taoism, yin and yang, yin and yang, however you want to say it. Um, in the symbol, if you didn't know this back in the day, at least I didn't, you know you have the yin and the yang, and then there's little dots in each side, <clears throat> excuse me, of each side, and that represents that with good there is bad. With bad there is good. It is the same, it's one and the same. One cannot exist without the other. So what you need to understand is that heartache is important for us to appreciate bliss. Bliss is important for us to appreciate uh, uh, heartache so that we know you know, what feels good, what doesn't feel good, but you also must be like water. You also must just like flow with whatever life is, wherever life is taking us rather. Think about what water does. If something all of a sudden gets flooded, right? If something all of a sudden gets flooded, water does not uh, adjust for the building. Water takes over, goes around, and does what it has to do. That's what you gotta do in life. You have to understand that it's just about conforming to whatever is going on around you or just going with the flow. I believe that's another Chinese proverb. Proverb. Um, you have to be like water. Don't be so affected. Don't be so uh, shaken by the outcome. Don't be so attached to the outcome. And this if this all sounds like, girl, what are you talking about? Please let me know in the comments below because it took me some time to realize this as well, but I'm only, I have to tell you um, where I'm understanding it now, but if I need to break it down a little more, I will, and, and perhaps I should, because this will really change your life. If you are able to be able to look up every morning, regardless if you're sleeping in a beautifully furnished mansion or uh, or the hood or whatever, if you can wake up every day with a smile on your face knowing that whatever happens, you're gonna be okay, your life will change. If you start to be present, 
your life will change. You will stop worrying because you are present. Remember, that's what worry is. Worry about the future, worry about the past, and not being present. So that's gonna do it for this video. You let me know in the comments below if I have covered everything, if you need me to go over something else, if you would like for me to, you know, maybe do a series or something because I tell, I kid you not, once you're able to be present, once you're able to accept things and be like water and flow, girl, your life is going to change. You're not going to be stressed. So anybody can say whatever to you. It doesn't mean you're not going to, it doesn't mean that you will always respond 100% appropriately because we have to remember we are humans. We are on this physical plane having a human experience. And so sometimes, you know, uh, people, other people, your alter ego might come out. But the bottom line is, that's, that's going to do it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. And as always, I thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope that you have a fabulous day.